Hi, and welcome to First Year Undergraduate Microeconomics. In this brief presentation, we look at an application of opportunity cost. If you are not sure about the idea of opportunity cost, please look at the earlier presentation in this series. As a reminder of the definition of opportunity cost, remember that whenever you make a choice, you have to give up other alternative options. The opportunity cost of a choice is the next best alternative that you gave up when you made your choice. Opportunity cost is not only a key idea in economics, it is also a fundamental principle in business decision making. Let's take a simple example. Suppose that you are working for a financial consulting firm. You would like to offer a short course to some of your clients. You pitch the idea to your boss who asks you to go away and put a budget together. You work out that the short course should go for five days. It will cost you $500 per day to rent an appropriate lecture hall in a nearby hotel. It will cost an extra $50 per day to hire the audio visual equipment that you will need. And you also need to advertise the course. That will cost $500. You need to provide refreshments and lunch for the people who will attend the course, and that will cost you $20 per person per day. And you need to prepare some initial materials to give the attendees, and that will cost $20 per person. Okay, that is the costs. What about the revenue? The lecture hall will have space for 30 attendees, and you're pretty sure that you can find 30 people willing to pay $300 each to do the short course. So the course should bring in $9,000 in revenue. Okay, let's write up the budget. The total cost of the rooms is $2,500 with an extra $250 for the audio visual equipment. Catering for the 30 people is $3,000 for the five days. Advertising is $500 and the materials will cost $600. So the total cost comes to $6,850. In terms of revenue, 30 people at $300 per person is $9,000. After subtracting the $6,850 it costs, it looks like the project will make $2,150. So the project looks like a winner and you write up the budget and prepare to present it to your boss. Hang on a minute. What we have written down here are the accounting costs for the course. These reflect the money that will flow into the course from student revenue and the money that you will spend to run the course. And these are real costs of running the course. But are these the only costs of running the short course? Have we taken into account all the resources that will be used by your business to run the course? In other words, have we taken into account all the opportunity costs? Let's see. First, who is going to teach the course? Well, you are. But from your company's perspective, you are not free. If you spend a week teaching the course, then the work you would have done during that week will not be done. Let's suppose that in an average week, your company bills 20 hours of your time at $250 per hour. In other words, from the company's perspective, you bring in $5,000 revenue on an average week. If you teach the course for a week, the company will forego that $5,000 in revenue. Of course, the company doesn't pay you $5,000 a week, but this is the opportunity cost of a company of your time. By diverting your time to teach the course for a week, the company gives up the $5,000 consulting revenue that it expected to make from your time during the week. And what about preparation for the conference? Suppose the preparation takes another half a week or another $2,500 of consulting income foregone. And it also takes 10 hours of time for a research assistant. The time of a research assistant is another scarce resource that has an opportunity cost. Let's suppose that diverting the research assistant to your project for 10 hours has an opportunity cost of $100 per hour or $1,000 in total. So, 
Now let's work out the total cost of a course. We have $6,850 in accounting costs, but we also have an additional $8,500 in the opportunity cost of your time and the research assistant's time. So the total costs are $15,350. The revenue from the course is still $9,000, but once we take into account all the opportunity costs associated with running the course, it will make a loss of $6,350. Oh well, perhaps it would be a good idea to bend the short course project. It clearly makes a loss when all costs are taken into account. This example, where a project is profitable on the basis of accounting costs, but is unprofitable when all opportunity costs are taken into account, is a common one faced by business. Many businesses make losses and fail because they do not properly take opportunity costs into account. For example, businesses sometimes treat the time of their staff members as if it were a free resource. It isn't. Having a staff member work on one project takes them away from other potentially more valuable activities. For a small business, the person who owns and runs the business may fail to take into account the opportunity cost of his or her own time. The business may make an accounting profit, but only because the owner of the business works 80 hours a week and pays themselves no wage. The owner does not take into account his or her own best alternative. For example, this next best alternative might be working for somebody else. The wage a person gives up when they choose to run a small business is an opportunity cost of running that business. It is not an accounting cost. There will be no accounting entry labelled wage the boss could have got if he or she worked elsewhere. But it is an opportunity cost that the business owner needs to take into account when thinking about the profitability of the business. Mistakes relating to opportunity cost are not limited to workers. Companies sometimes treat meeting rooms, company cars, offices and other physical resources as if they were free. For example, suppose you decided to run your short course in-house using a large meeting room in the office, rather than at the outside venue. This would save you $500 a day that you would have paid in rent for the lecture hall in the hotel. But is the decision to use the company's internal meeting room costless? No! While you would save $500 per day in outside rental, you would now use up a room that would otherwise be used by your company. The opportunity cost of using that room for a week to run your short course is the inability to use that meeting room for other activities during the week. If the room would be used for other meetings that must now be delayed, this delay is a real cost to your company. The cost of using the internal meeting room is the best other use of the room for gone for the week. In summary, opportunity cost is not just a key idea in economics, but it is a key principle in running a business. A business that fails to properly consider opportunity costs will quickly find that projects it thought would be profitable are in fact loss making. Many businesses can end up in trouble because they consider accounting costs, but they forget about opportunity costs.